Welcome back to the series of lectures for coaching through the Nutrition Network. This talk I'm going to give you is about self-belief and what I've learned over the years in how people have to see the future and they have to believe in the future for them to make a change. And I think it's very important as you work with your clients that you need to make sure that they see a future that is better than what they have today and they understand that they can achieve that. It took me many years to understand this concept of self-belief, that you can actually do it. And if you see the future and you want it enough, that it is achievable. So I'm going to give in this lecture some examples of people who influenced me in my life and taught me about coaching and self-belief and how from quite humble beginnings, people have achieved remarkable events and what I've learned from working with some of those people. And one of those people who taught me a great deal was Lewis Pugh, who refers to me as his coach. And this picture shows him coming out of the water, having just completed a 500 kilometer swim, when he swam from the west to the east end of the United Kingdom, or from Southern England. And it took him 50 days of swimming about up to 10 hours a day to complete the 500 kilometer swim. And there's the swim from Penzance to Calais, 49 days swimming. And when he finished, he said, when you've got purpose, everything becomes possible. And I think that's the key, that you need to give purpose to people for them to understand that it's worth it. So where did it all begin? Well, Lewis Pugh asked me in 2005 a certain number of questions and it ended up with us going to the North Pole. And here's a picture of our boat that we went on, a Russian icebreaker. And the mission goal was for him to swim one kilometer in a speedo at the North Pole in minus 1.8 degrees centigrade and to return alive to Cape Town. And that was my job to make sure he returned alive to Cape Town. Which sounds easier than you think, but the water depth at the North Pole is four kilometers. So if anything went wrong, Lewis Pugh would be four kilometers under the surface and my career in medicine would have ended as people would have laughed at me and said it was far too dangerous for you to do. It all began when Lewis Pugh came to me and he said, can I swim around the Cape Peninsula? That was in 2005. And he'd asked many people, many experts in Cape Town whether he could do that. And they all said no, but I knew enough about the physiology and other things that I could say actually yes it is possible for you to do it. So he then subsequently went and did that swim from the waterfront on day one to finishing up at Musenberg on day 13. And the moment he arrived at Musenberg, he phoned me in, at the University of Cape Town and said, Prof, I couldn't have done it without you. And I said, but I wasn't there any of the time. You did it by yourself. So he said, no, you, had, you believed in me. I just needed one person to believe in me, and then it was possible to do it. 